सो वेलकम टू कॉम्पिटिशन आई क्यू सो टुडे विल कंटिन्यू द रिमेनिंग पर्सन ऑफ वाई दी आर्यस सो विल स्टार्ट विद द इकोनॉमी इकोनॉमी ऑफ द आर्यस वॉज मेनली पेस्टोरल एंड एग्रीकल्चरल एंड इट वॉज नॉट सिटी बेस्ड इट वॉज फोकस्ड ऑन द रेयरिंग ऑफ एनिमल्स एंड काउ वॉज द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट एनिमल अदर एनिमल्स विच आर इंस न्यू आर गोट एंड शिप एलिफेंट इज ओनली मैं इन दर टेक्स्ट सो इफ यू सी दी रिलीजन ऑफ दी आर्यन सो दिस रिलीजन ऑफ आर्यन वॉज क्लोजर टू नेचर दे वॉज सी नेचुरल फोर्सेज एंड इंदिरा वॉज मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट गोड अदर गोड्स वॉज अदर गोड्स वॉज अग्नि विच वॉज फायर गोड एंड बोर्ना वॉज वाटर गोड ही पर्सनिफाइड वाटर सो गोड्स वॉर मेनली वर्शिप थ्रू रिसाइट रिसाइट प्रेयर्स एंड ऑफरिंग ऑफ सेक्रीफाइस सो दिस रिलीजन हैज बीन टर्म्ड हिनोथिजम so hinoth hinoth means a belief in single gods and uh, these are some important gods of rigvedic so you can see savitri savitri is stimulator or god of light then agni uh, yamas yam which everybody knows it's god of death ashwin healer of diseases Ushas, Ushas is goddesses of dawn. Marut, Marut, you know it means air, gods of storm. So, expansion of Aryans. So slowly Aryans ex uh, expanded to uh, all all parts of uh, this Ganga plain, and uh, they went up to they pen uh, they penetrated into coastal Kashi, Vidya, Magda, Anga, etc. and in the uh, during this time kurus and panchals were the leading aryan tribes and there were also contacts with the south indian people like andras and polindas so important uh, excavation sites are hastinapur kosambi etc and uh, slowly slowly the basic uh, initial or you, you can say first Uh, first uh, settlement of uh, first uh, the area where they first settled punjab and north west it was practically forgotten and uh, slowly slowly it was also started to be seen with contact and uh, it was occupied by uh, freshly arrived uh, migrants as you know india it's having uh, continuous migration uh, from its western border so uh, there was a change in the polity later vedic age so uh, there was rise of kings at the cost of tribal assemblies and uh, many janpads or kingdoms came into being so these were mainly like gandhar gandhar was in western punjab saraul bindi and peshawar kekaya kekawa kekaya was in punjab on bank of river bias then madra madra kingdom kushinagar kushinagar was in modern uttar pradesh northern region then kosal kosal was mod, uh, modern ayodhya uh, so so you can see uh, the old uh, as as uh, old uh, old aryan uh, polity was based on it had uh, tribal character and slowly slowly this tribal organization gave way to kingdoms uh, in some states these tribal assemblies they continue to uh, republic form of government they continue uh, to have some relevance like in case of lichwis and sakyas so uh, with rise of kings uh, their uh, their uh, the a class of officers developed and they they came to have a uh, important influence so these were prohit senani chamberlain royal charioteer samrag uh, samragirti and bhaga duga bhaga duga was revenue collector so these are the important officials senani was commander 
then Varsapati was officer in charge of postal land. Uh, Bhaga Duga was tax collector. Mahishi was chief queen. Suta. Suta was court minister or chronicle who also served as editor originally. Uh, as you know, uh, Karan, the character Karan in Mahabharat, he was, his, he was called Sutput. So he belonged to a class uh, which uh, uh, which repelled chariots or which made chariots. Then society. So society Rajinav uh, were uh, most powerful because they were the ruling class but they were challenged by Brahmins also. But uh, whenever there was any conflict between these two classes they reconciled themselves. Uh, Vaisyas also enjoyed good position and uh, Sudras were at the bottom. So as uh, Aryans expanded into um, whole of India, uh, this uh, they isolated themselves from the local people, and uh, slowly, slowly uh, these caste caste rules became strong, and women's status also deteriorated, and this situation got appeared. So these are some types of marriages in later Vedic Brahma. So Brahma was the normal marriage. It was arranged for marriage between a girl and a boy of same class, and there was no dowry. Then uh, other important was Gandhara. Gand Gandhara, uh, Gandhara marriage was like it's like love marriage. Uh, it was marriage of my condition by consent of two parties. Then Asura was marriage by purchase. Raksas was marriage by capture. Mm, Parjapataya. So Prajapatiya was a marriage in which father gave the girl without dowry and without demanding bride price. So economy, uh, economy slowly slowly uh, with time, Aryan's economy also diversified. So initially in Rig Veda we, we see mention of only of gold and copper and bronze, but uh, later Vedic text also mention tin lead, silver and iron. Elephant was also started to be tamed. And uh, but it was not yet, uh, yet used in the war. So uh, specialized trade and crafts appeared. So there were different classes of people like jewelers, goldsmith, metalworks. They appeared. Uh, so in poetry, so in poetry, most important it was painted graveyard and uh, uh, the painted graveyard poetry. Uh, it has been found in many places in UP. Then philosophies and literature of later, later Vedic age. Uh, so the, the important texts are, apart from Ring Veda, there were three more Vedas, Brahmans and Aryankas and the Upanishads. Mm, so, so all this literature of uh, Vedic time is known as Shruti. So this means it was not written, but it was. First of all, it was transferred from uh, one generation to another by by a, a word of mouth, by oral oral communication, and uh, it was revealed. It is believed that it was revealed to certain seers. So it was not written. That's why it's not. Uh, it's known as Shruti. So uh, apart from these Vedas, there are four Upvedas and six Vedangas, together termed as Smriti literature. So there were uh, Sahintas associated with each Vedas. So Rig, there was Rig, Rig Veda Sahita, Samvedi Sahita. Samvedi Sahita consisted of uh, Samvedi Sahita was used for singing at sacrifices. Then there was Yajur Veda Sahita. Yajur Veda Sahita it contained sacrificial formulas. Mm, then Brahmans. Brahmans are not in prose. So Brahmins explain the uh, explain the meaning of various hymns of Sahintas. Then Aryankas. Aryankas were the Aryanka means forest text. So uh, during this time, a class of uh, hermits also developed, and these uh, these hermits they secluded themselves to the forest where they meditated for uh, long days, long durations, and they wrote these texts. So they, they were mostly philosophical type. And then the, there was Up Upanishads. Up Upanishads. So Upanishads are also uh, very philosophical in nature. 
सो उपनिषद सार आयदर इम्बेडेड इन दी अरिंग सो फ्रॉम देर सप्लीमेंट्स देर ऑल्सो फाउंड इन इंडिपेंडेंट सो दीज आर द मेजर उपनिषद्स मेजर उपनिषद सार मुंडका जतरिया ऐतरिया चंदयोगा एंड कथा सो द स्लोली सिक्स स्कूल्स ऑफ इंडियन फिलोसफी ऑल्सो डेवलप सो दीज आर संख्या संख्या योगा न्याय वैशेषिका वेदांता सो एज पर वेदांता ब्रह्मा इज द रियलिटी एंड एवरीथिंग एल्स इज अन रियल एंड न्याय न्याय वाज सिस्टम लॉजिक योगा योगा इज नोल्ड मेडिटेशन एंड फिजिकल एप्लीकेशन देन आफ्टर दिस पीरियड Uh, the two epics also emerged. These were Mahabharata and Ramayana. Mahabharata, as you know, it was written by Vyasa, and it's older than Ramayana. Mm. So, religion in later Vedic period. So slowly, slowly, this uh, religious ceremonies they became more complex. and you can see there were many vedic rituals so many yagas they appeared like ashwamedha yagya so ashwamedha yagya was horse sacrifice meant to establish king supremacy over kings then vajpayee yagya then Gar- uh, garbadana garbadana was it was a ceremony to promote, promote conception in women then upnayana upnayana means this initiation initiation ceremony in which uh, child is given is the new so it was available only to uh, boys of higher varnas when they acquired these of 8 years uh, then rajya yag so these are different vedic rituals so in later uh, vedic period uh, new gods samaj like pasupati and then vishnu rudra and uh, signs of idolatry also appeared so murti puja also appeared in during this time uh, so following are the important terms associated with the vedic age uh, so these are goishti goishti was fight for cows mm then agnya agnya was it's no it's uh, agnya means not to be killed so it refer to cow so as with uh, agricultural economy developed so cow became an important animal and uh, it was uh, prohibited for killing mm. then pratiloma pratiloma was marriage of a lower varna man with higher varna women then vri rice was known as vrihi and camel was known as ustra ustra okay so but there was a reaction against priestly domination also and you you see uh, these were reflected in upanishads also uh, upanishads uh, believed in right belief and knowledge and uh, emergence of uh, buddha and jainas was also reaction to increase of orthodoxy in hinduism Uh, so, so now we'll just have a recap. So Upanishad, uh, Upanishads were total one zero eighteen numbers, and uh, Gayatri Mantra has been mentioned in uh, Rig Veda. Rig Veda had ten mandalas. Uh, so Vedic literature can be divided into four classes: Sahita, Brahmana, Arinkas, and Upanishads. Uh, then first and tenth mandala of Rig Veda provide the provide the evidence of spiritual life. अगस्त्य अगस्त्य मुनि और अगस्त्य ऋषि वाज ही वाज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर आर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ साउथ इंडिया दिस वैदिक कल्चर स्प्रेड टू साउथ इंडिया स्लोली स्लोली एंड इट्स इट्स सेड दैट ऋषि अगस्त्य प्लेड अ इम्पोर्टेंट रोल ही टू वैदिक लाइफ वैदिक रिलीजन टू साउथ इंडिया देन पुरुषा सुक्ता पुरुषा सुक्ता ऑफ ऋग्वेदा uh it mentions the fourfold division of society uh it refers that uh, these uh, different classes came from different parts of the god like uh, brahmans came from brain kshatriyas from hands something like that 
देन न्यू का न्यू का मैरिज इट वॉज मैरिज ऑफ ए चाइल्डलेस विडो लाइक इफ हजबेंड डाइज देन दीडो वॉज मैरिड टू दी यंगर ब्रदर ऑफ द हजबेंड सो दिस वॉज नोन एज न्यू का सिस्टम सो सत्यमेव जो है इट्स मैंशन इन मुंड का उपनिषद एंड जबला उपनिषद मैंशन दी दिस फोर आश्रम ब्रह्मचर्य ग्रस्थ वन प्रस्थ एंड सन्यास देन सरस्वती वॉज दी मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट रिवर सो इट वॉज होलिएस्ट रिवर्स सरस्वती सो मुंड मुंडू का सुकुता इट रेफर्स टू इट इट गिव्स ग्लिम्स इन टू अरिग्वेदिक एजुकेशन सिस्टम and cattle was the most important possession of aryan clans over which even wars were fought so govisti govisti was search for cows and there were battles on the for possession of cows then goats i have, I have already told you and uh, coin money came into later vedic period it was not there in initial period in the uh, initial form of vedic life so usually with the contains sacrificial formulas so slowly slowly kings also increased in their strength uh, they were called samrat they were uh, started to be called as samrat in the east swart in the west virat in the north bhoj in the south and raja in the central region okay so with this i am completing this uh, vedic aryan chapter and uh, please like and share thank you very much